Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together today. Uh, in this video we will answer some uh, comments and you know some issues. As you see the title is about did Muhammad even dare to debate the Christians? For sure he don't. Now the Muslim they try to defend their prophet, I understand that, but you know we will laugh in a second. But before we start we have a comment from Mr. Uh, uh, Sebastian from France. He said, I like a lot uh, I like CP a lot, but his refusal of evolution make our Christian God the greatest of Macarene. Shame on you, Sebastian, to say that. I mean, this is shame. This is That's a very stupid statement. I don't know what you ate today, but you are saying stupid things. Like Allah, like why? Let us see. When billions of years of evolution fossils and remnant point at the same direction, I believe that God touches a touch created our universe with his finger 15 billion years ago. And that wink for him, we arose from the dust of the stars. The Garden of Eden, uh, Eden and Eve <laughs> is an animal stage. Shame on you. Is that in the Bible that we are created 15 billion years ago? And those fossils you are talking about, you see, uh, like uh, I've made videos before about how they measure the age of things. Uh, you know, like how much salt we have in the ocean? They take, uh, like they say, one liter from the ocean, and they say, okay, in one liter there is a certain percentage of salt, okay? How much the ocean receives salt a year? Which means we can compare between this year and the year after how much salt increase. And then we can say how many years it took this salt to be in the ocean. This is supposed to be scientific method. But this is a very stupid statement. Because a destruction of one territory full of salt and a flood from it will take a lot of salt from that territory to the ocean. You know, I don't know if you go to uh, to Utah, yeah, there, is an, there is an endless land of salt. So let's say there's a flood happened, there's a, there's a land close to the beach, and there's a flood happened, and then in one year, a billions of tons of salt drop in the ocean. So how you can measure? This is a very silly, this is not scientific, this is stupid. Suddenly, the hypocrite ones, the false Christians, they don't want, you see, those are the same as the Muhammadan. They try to justify, or let us say, balance between their, 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 their science, which they worship, obviously, because obviously this guy, he believed in 50, 15 billion years ago, yet he claimed to be Christian, and between the Bible, but you cannot do that. This is the Bible in front of us. Where do you get us the, five, the 15 billion years? In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and now earth is, was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over it, over the water. And God said it be light, and light was. Is that what your science says? Those people, they believe in the Big Bang. And God saw that light was good, and he separated, separated the light from darkness. God called the light day. Where is the billion year? And the darkness called darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, first day. <laughs> and yet you claim that you are the one who is a Christian. So those idiots who don't want, like they are confused, shall I worship God and the word of God or shall I worship Darwin? They decide to worship Darwin, obviously, over God. Because where you get the five, 15 billion years? Where you get this from? 
And then he go far in insulting God, saying that when God created us, he created us as animals. We rose from the dust of the stars. Is that how God he created us? From the dust of the stars? The Garden of Eve is an animal stage. Have you ever heard of a Christian insult God as much as this? Abdul. That's absolutely false. Because animals don't have rules, they are programmed. And animals, you don't talk to them. They do what they are programmed for. But the Bible says that God, he gave Adam a command. The first man was received, he received a law. Don't do that. Don't do this. What animals you are talking about? And yet you are the one who claim to be Christian and you are calling our God. If we don't believe in the stupid evolution that we are making our God as Macarim, because obviously you don't know what Macarim mean. Macarim mean decei de deceivers, you idiot. What does this have to do even with the, with, the, with the topic? I hope you are insulted very well because I love to insult the one who try to deceive and yet they claim to be Christians. Maybe you will be uh, awake, you know, it's like a slam in your face with your stupidity. Everything you said is against the Bible teaching. Anyone who come to you and he claim to be Christian, he says, we believe that there's billions of years. He is not being Christian. What billions of years? It's clear, the word is so clear. You want to do what the Muslim do? You give it like a 50 billion interpretation to get a word. The sun set in murky water. It's so clear. They say, oh, it says, uh, uh, you know, it looked like appeared to Zul Qurnayn in his perspective. Like, where it says that? And this guy is saying the same. He's being Abdul. So don't go by those mad people. This is mad. This is stupid. Same time, the evolution theory they are talking about, 67% of the scientists rejected. So how you can call it science? You see, when, when we have science, nobody can reject. That's it. All scientists, they agree. But when we have a debate between the scientists, then it's not a fact, obviously. Otherwise, nobody, why people are not giving up that is not true? Forget about Christian Prince. He, he's debating you based on his belief. Okay, what about the scientists? If we go right now and search in YouTube, we will find tons of scientists saying, this is a stupid idea. Idiot. So now we go to the topic about Muhammad debating the Christians. You know, Muslims, they supposedly, they can refute me. For sure you can refute me. I mean, come on. But they cannot call me and refute me. And the Muslim, they say, Christian Prince, he hang up on Muslim. I hang up on, on, on idiots. Bring me a sheikh, I will never hang up on him. Like last time we spoke about this uh, uh, Muhammad debating the Christians. It was a guy, his name is Nightmare. And this guy, he believed Allah have a spirit. He didn't even know what his God is. So this guy want to defend Islam. But anyway, the topic is, and this is my challenge to the Muslims. Did your prophet debate the Christians? Did your prophet debate the Christians? You see, if your prophet debate the Christian, then we can find the debate. Is that correct, guys? I mean, <laughs> you Muslims, you write everything about your prophet, including how, what he do with his ass. Your prophet, he says how to hold your penis, you write it down. Your prophet, he clean his ass with three rocks, you write it down. The prophet was sucking the tongue of Aisha, we write it down. The wife of the prophet, she is bleeding from her vagina, we write it down. And when we have a debate, you don't write it down? What is the debate? This is sunnah.com. And those are the sahih books. Who is the Muslim want to show me the debate from them? Choose anyone. Because if there is a debate, then there is a debate. 
And as long as you're Muslim, you write down everything. How you will, how you will forget some such an important thing? If we could not find it in the books of the Sunni, which is weird, we can go to the books of the Shia, and then we find that the Shia is saying that when the people of Najran they came to Muhammad, they spent the whole day trying to talk to him, and he refused to talk. They talk to him, he don't answer. They talk to him, he don't answer. Okay, why the prophet is not answering? Because he don't have he have no answer. The book name Subulul Huda wa Rashad As Salihi As Shami Volume number six page number 417 by the way if you don't like this book just to find a different book doesn't matter if you click translate to Google use Google translation all right <laughs> we went to him this is the Christian supposedly they came to talk to Muhammad Muhammad is the one who wrote them a letter to come they come they greet him, he refused to answer. They keep talking to him, he refused to talk. What do you expect from somebody coming from different country far away? How hard will be the discussion? I mean, this is a debate should be like 10 hours debate and that will make a book. Not a page, not a sentence. What is the debate? What Muhammad told them about the Holy Spirit? The Christian believe in the Holy Spirit, right? Oh, oh, oh I forgot. Muhammad even do not know that the Christian believe in a Trinity and the Trinity include the Holy Spirit. See, how somebody like this mad person fabricated false prophet can debate the Christian when he do not even know what the Christian believe. Muslims, any one of you can show me the Trinity in the Quran? Like what the Christian Trinity believe in? If you cannot, I can show you. <laughs> This is what Muhammad, Muhammad, he never spoke supposedly. It's Allah is telling him. And each time Muhammad, he talk, he says stupid things. Chapter 5, verse number 75. And remember, chapter 5 is about supposedly the Messiah. I mean, at least the name. What is the debate? Christ the son of Mary was no more than a messenger. Many were messengers that passed away before him. That's false translation, by the way. It says, قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهُ الرُّسُلُ All messengers before him, they die. This is what it's meant. And his mother, mother was a woman of truth. They had both to eat. So Muhammad is in the Christian that Jesus is not God and Mary is not God both of them they eat but the Christian don't believe that Mary is God what is the what is the Trinity so how such a fool he can debate the Christian about what they believe and then Muhammad the fool he continue He claimed that Mary is the daughter of Imran. How you can debate us about this? But Imran, even Muhammad, he called the name wrong. It's Imran, not Imran, but idiot as what you say. Is the father of Moses. 
and Muhammad keep repeating the same thing over, over, over. If you go to chapter 12, chapter, sorry, 66, verse number 12, which is very funny to have this verse there anyway. I mean, what is this? And Mary, the daughter of Amran. How Mary she became the daughter of Amran? When Muhammad, he said, Mary, she is the sister of Aaron, Aaron, the brother of Moses. I remember in the Quran, Muhammad, he did not say Mary, he said Maryam. Maryam. And that is exactly the correct name of the sister of Aaron. Aaron have a sister. Her name is Maryam. So the foolish Muhammad, he think that Maryam, this, the daughter of Amram, the sister of Aaron, is the same Maryam, the mother of Jesus. This is why when Kabul Ahbar, which is a Jew, he came to Aisha and he said to her, but there is a couple of hundreds of years between them. Aisha said to him, Kadhat, you are a liar. She did not say the Prophet did not mean that. When Muhammad he learned what Kabul Ahbar he said, he said to himself, oh, oh, we got busted. So he said, oh, they used to call them by their great, the great uh, prophets. Great prophets? Which one is the greater in Islam? Amran? No, sorry, uh, Aaron or Moses? Verse And how you explain that Mary, she became the daughter of Amran, which is the father of Moses. There's a whole chapter about it, chapter number three. And the whole chapter is called the family of Amran. <laughs> so how such a fool, he can debate the Christians? He cannot. This is why in the book here it says that your prophet, he sent us a message. Okay, when we came, you know, we'd love to talk to him, no problem. We greet him, he refused to greet us. And we stayed the whole day speaking to him, asking him a question, and he refused to talk. They are telling people, they are telling a person, a person his name is Uthman, a person his name is Abdul Rahman. We came to talk to your prophet. Why he invited us? So what is the debate? And then there's a hadith of the Shia, they say, that Muhammad told them that what is preventing you from converting to Islam that you worship the cross. Hey Christian, do you worship the cross? Since when? If a Muslim want to say, I will use the logic of Muhammad, that the Christian of Najran, they kiss the cross. Will you Muslim, you kill the black stone, you kiss the black stone. So you have a prophet who do not know who is Jesus. Even his name is wrong. I mean, who is this Isa? In the books of the tradition, some like in the tradition of the Jews, which is not approved by anybody, some of the Jews believe that Maryam, the sister of Aaron, she have a son, his name is Isa. The stupid Muhammad, he thought, this is the son of Maryam. This is the same Isa. Isa. <laughs> So Mary, the sister of Aaron, the daughter of Amran. You see, the first one, Muhammad, he was able to fix it because Kabul Ahbar told him, yeah, Abdul, listen, there is a huge difference between Maryam, the mother of Jesus, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and Maryam, the sister of Aaron. There's hundreds of years. So that one, okay, Muhammad, he was able to push it there. But how he can fix Ali Amran? And then you need to ask yourself the question, 
why the Jews they wrote that Moses his father name is Amram I mean they knew that Muhammad is going to be a fool and he will write something stupid thinking that this is the same family why somebody he wrote a book hundreds and hundreds of years before this mad man he, he, he was born why they want to change the name of the father of Moses and what make it more funny even the Muslim agree that the father of Moses his name is Omran <laughs> but the question where do you get this from from the Bible this is why the silly Muhammad he could not and he cannot debate the Christians And just to show you the foolishness of Muhammad, who do not understand Christianity, and he have zero understanding for Christianity. Muhammad he says that Allah is one of the three. The Christian, this is what the Christian believe: Allah is one of the three. Muslims, who are the three? It's a it's an open challenge for every single Abdul in the chat to tell us who are the three which the Christian believe in. First, we don't believe in Allah. I know some Muslim, they will say to you, well, there's a Christian in the Middle East, they use the word Allah. They are under the occupation of Allah army for the last 1400 years. Taliban come yesterday, suddenly everybody grew on beard. Yesterday, nobody wearing hijab. This is exactly what happened. So the question, when Muhammad said that the Christian believe and they are doing blasphemy against God. Allah is one of three. We don't believe in Allah. Secondly, Allah is one of the three. Who is the three? Any Muslim can help? Let us go to the different verse in the Quran so we can love more. Shall we? Be my witness. Remember, Allah is one of the three. The verse we showed you previously says so, right? And as you see, we are showing you in front of your eyes. And then Muhammad, go in chapter 5, verse number 17, and look what he said. In blasphemy, indeed, they say that Allah is the Christ. Like, hold on. If Allah is one of the three, and this is what the Christians, they believe. Which verse was that? Chapter 5, verse number 73. The same chapter. Okay. So, chapter 5, verse 73 says that the Christian, they say blasphemy against God by saying that Allah is one of the three take a note but then the crazy man muhammad he say in the same chapter in verse number 17 that the christian believe that the messiah is allah <laughs> are you getting the point hey people are you getting the point or or still we are going slow in the process you see, if we, if we Christians believe that Allah is one of the three, which is not true, really. We don't believe in Allah anyway. But let us go with it. Then you say that the Christian believe that Allah is the same a person as the Messiah. That means there's no three. Okay, we will go with you. The Christian believe that Allah is one of the three, and they believe that the Messiah himself is Allah. Who is the other two? Because Allah and the Messiah is one now. <laughs> Oh boy. Do you see how stupidity work? I don't want to keep you here for long. I just wanted to say hello to everybody and show you that this idiot Muhammad do not know what he's talking about. And when the Christians, they came to him and they start making, you know, argument, he could not answer them. And Muhammad, in order to avoid or the Muslims to avoid embarrassment of their stupid silly prophet. He said to them, when you see people, they are making fun of the Quran or they question the Quran, leave. 
Don't stay there. You see? In the reference, it says that the people of Najran, Yujadirun or Rasul, Yujadirun, they have an argument. They have an argument. It's not him arguing. Actually, there's a chapter in the Quran. It's called the chapter of Al Mujadala. <laughs> What a stupid! And for sure, you know, like uh, the Muslims, they have many names for many chapters. Every every religion of Islam have different name for the same chapter. Every religion of Islam they have different names, even for the same chapter. And they say to you that the word Mujadala mean he is debating them too. <clears throat> That's false. This is if they are both doing Mujadala, not one. Here we go. This is the word Mujadala. قَدْ سَمِعَ اللَّهُ قَوْلِ الَّتِي تُجَادِلُكَ فِي زَوْجِهَا She is the one making the statement. She is not debating him. She is coming to even to complain. So the Christian, they came and they make a statement and the full Muhammad could not answer it. And not only that, he says, I have nothing to say for you. Tell them I have nothing to say. He doesn't even talk to them. And then Muhammad to solve the problem, what he did. He said, okay. Come, come, come. Let us invoke the curse of Allah in the one who, who is lying. He could not answer them. If anyone dispute in this matter with thee, did, did Allah say to him, debate? <laughs> no. If anyone dispute in this matter with thee, now after all the knowledge come to you, which means Allah told Muhammad supposed to answer, right? And he gave it in the Quran. Say to them, come, 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 come here, come here. Let us go together. This is gather together. Our sons and your son, but the funny Muhammad don't have sons. Your your sons and your sons, those are more monks. They don't have sons and wives. Our women and your women, they eat it. They are not married. Ourself and yourself, like what the heck? And let us urgently pray and invoke the curse of Allah and the one who lie. Look, what is just stupid religion? This is how the debate of Muhammad is. Let us invoke a curse in the one who is lying. But hold on. Those Christians, they believe that Jesus is God. They are not lying. Let us say they believe in Allah, is supposed to. Let us say for the sake of argument. But that will not make them liars. Liar is someone say something against what he know. So this argument again is an argument of a liar. Actually in the Middle East we say, they say to the thief, swear by Allah you did not take the money. He loved it, he says I will swear. He says, you know, the solution came. The rescue came. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a scammer? He will not love to, love to swear to get away from his crime. He's a criminal already. If he cared for God, he will not do the crime. So Muhammad saying, let us swear and let us ask Allah to curse the one is lying. But who is lying here? You see, if a person, he came to me from India and he says to me, um, uh, I worship a God, his name is, uh, you know, whatever. Harashima Mashima, whatever. A Buddha, whatever. He's not lying, he's worshiping that God. If he said to me, he's God, he's not lying to me. He believed in a lie. According to me, according to him, is the opposite. So, the idea of this verse is so silly and so stupid and so foolish and so dummy, showing the disability of this corrupt, false man who could not refute the Christians.
Do you see it? So my friend, this is just my snack for you for this evening for those who live in the state. And this is my morning snack for those who live in uh, Asia and uh, like where it is sun right now. And uh, by the way, don't forget, don't forget the Prophet. He knows everything. And there's a Quran, there's science, brother. You know, the sun did not set in the sun, murky water. This is how it's appeared to him, brother. It's appeared. Where it says the word appear? doesn't say that there. But in order to take the stupidity of Muhammad away, we say that. And not only that, they agree that when Muhammad, he said that the sun disappear and goes every day under the sun, the, the, the throne of Allah, it was a true hadith. So if we make a summary of this, the Muslim, they write down everything Muhammad is saying, everything he do, even when he shake his penis, they write it down. The Prophet hold his penis with his right hand. I mean, look, they're watching him. How in the world they saw it? Did your Prophet used to stand and show you his penis and he's holding it? The Prophet, he shake his penis three times. Like, how you know? Your Prophet, he have no shame. He don't turn his back to you when he do pee. Is it an animal place? The Prophet, he clean his ass with the three rocks. Like, what the heck? So you have the record of all those things, but you don't have a record for a debate? A debate which took the whole day. Because it says there, we were talking to him the whole day and he refused to answer. The Prophet, we gave him three rocks to clean his anus. Look at the story. And look at the title. Chapter, don't clean the private part with dunk. Like, what the heck? This is the chapter name. What is the chapter name? Don't clean your anus with dunk. They are being polite, you know. It's, don't, don't want to use the word anus, right? So they say, I'm saying that in the translation, but that, that, that don't clean your private part with dunk. Like, why the Prophet, you want to clean his with dunk anyway? And Muhammad, he claimed that he should not clean with dunks and bones because this is the food of the genie. Like, what the heck? So you have record of all those things, but you didn't have a record of a whole debate. What he, they said to him, Jesus, okay, he, you know, he's born from no man. How you explain that? Or the, or Jesus, he is, uh, he, he walked in water, he did miracles. How you explain that? You know, this is, should be a huge debate as any debate. There is no debate. So they have record in the most funny, silly, stupid things about their prophet, but they don't have a record of a debate. They have a record even that the Prophet he imagined things as done by him, but he did not. So who did it? The man is a crazy, obviously. If you if you are a person who imagined things happened and they never happened, that's mean you have a chemical balance in your brain. But this is a prophet. Was Muhammad imagining an angel coming to him? If a Muslim say no, will you prove it? Your book saying he imagined things. And the excuse is bewitched. Who is going to believe in this garbage? Bewitched? What bewitched? In the old days, anyone, you know, who, uh, uh, you know, uh, mentally ill, they, they say he was bewitched because simply, especially the one who act normally during daytime, and suddenly he start doing something weird. So they call him bewitched. So once the prophet was bewitched, okay, and what happened? He began to imagine that he had done a thing. In fact, he did not do it. So during that time, Muhammad was bewitched. If you remember my, uh, my uh, I don't want to call it debate, but this guy, his name is Osama Abdullah. He's a Christian prince and a liar. The prophet was only bewitched for six months. What? Only? Okay, in six months, how many verses he imagined? How many Jibreel he imagined? And how this Allah, he allowed that such a thing happen to the one who is going to try. He is the fax machine of Allah. 
The fax machine is broken. The fax machine is giving false messages now. Because this false machine, Allah, Prophet Muhammad, he is imagining things. He is imagining facts coming and he print the facts. But it's not Allah talking to him. <laughs> so, Muhammad was nothing but a fool. A person who did not know what even the Christian believe. Did the Christian believe that Jesus is himself is Allah or believe that Jesus is one of the three? Which one Muhammad? Idiot. Did the Christian believe that Mary is part of the Trinity? No. So obviously Muhammad, he have no idea of what he is talking about. Is Isa the son of Mary? Is the nephew of Moses? says no. Is Mary the sister of Aaron? No. Is Mary the daughter of Amran? No. So how he can argue with the Christians? They will ask him those questions. Hey, idiot, where you get this Mary? She is the daughter of Amran. What Muhammad will say? Right? So, Islam is a very silly, stupid cult. And this is my invitation for anyone who claims to be a sheikh. If you are a sheikh, please leave a comment. We will welcome you to call me live on air. And we will be happy to have you to answer any of those things. Is that fair, people? Stop being a coward. And you can refute me by talking to yourself, but you cannot refute me by talking to me. And if you are a sheikh, not only we will welcome you, we will speak to you nicely and we will never hang up on you. I hang up only in just idiots, kids. Like the guy who did not know if his God is a spirit or not. We don't want to go to zero basic. Basic training. And the drill sergeant is screaming, losing his voice because the private soldier, he is an idiot. Bring me your shake. Where are they? Those who claim they can refute me. If we made a promise, I will never hang up on you. And you make a promise, you will never hang up on me. And we make a promise that the one who hang up first is a loser. Why you don't do it? If I hang up on you, that's when you won the debate. But bring me a shake. You notice that all those who claim to be sheikh who call me, they regret the second the day they call me. And we never hang up on them. Actually, it's the opposite. We ask them to stay. Do you remember this kid, Nader Ahmad? For sure, you will love his name now to be mentioned. He's like he, he worshiped himself. He go around, Christian Prince, he run away from me, Christian Prince, and yeah, he run away from me. I mean, this guy is a, is a, is a kid, it's stupid. And then I lost my patient because last time I talked to him, he agreed that it's okay for his prophet to have sex with a goat. And then the, this uh, Dudu, he said everything the Christian prince he said in this debate insulted the prophet. I took it off from the debate. Look, so what is left? The whole debate is about your prophet having sex with a goat. And he said to me, so what? Is it better than the Bible says to smash their head? So this guy, he go around. Christian Prince is running away from me. I said, okay, you know what, Nadir Ahmad, he came to the chat here. I said, Nadir Ahmad, call me, come on. Let us see who's running from who. And I told him, you tell me what you want to talk about. I'm not, I'm not going to ask you a question. You remember it, right? You remember the, the, the argument? I don't want to call it debate because they are kids. And then he started talking about alcohol. About scientists, they discover that there is a huge number of uh, women, they are losing their baby or etc. You know? Uh, because of uh, alcohol. Okay, wonderful. But who said to you Christianity allow a drinking and get it drunk? Even the Bible says a drunken, they will not enter the, 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 the house of God, the, 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 the kingdom of God. Drunker and get, I mean, This is why Muhammad, he copied, he put it in the, in the Quran, he copied from Paul. He copied what, word by word from Paul. So I said to him, okay, is alcohol is bad or good? 
took me more than 25 minutes repeating the same question is alcohol good or bad bad or good you remember that you know i can play it for you again how long it took me it took him to answer and then you will see an, an, an idiot he claimed to be a christian says a christian prince you should have more patience you idiot i'm repeating the question for the last 25 30 minutes the same question is the quran the, okay according to the quran is alcohol bad or good Christian Prince, you are changing topic now. So, uh, Abdul, according to the Quran, is there, you know, uh, and then you will see a Christian in the text saying, Christian Prince, you have to be more patient, brother. Actually, once there's a Christian, he posted in the comments saying, I was, but he's talking about a different person, not, not, not the Dura. He said, I was surprised that this person, he had patient to talk to Christian Prince. I, he is the one who had the patient, not me. <laughs> you go from the right you go left you go from the left you go right and then a christian idiot i want to call them those idiots because they are i don't know they are fake christians he claimed that that guy is the one who have a patient not me i'm really surprised that this guy he have patient to talk and he stay talking to christian prince what I'm the one repeating the question 25 7 time every two seconds and he is the one is patient and then a Christian he will say to you Christian Prince why don't let them speak like what the heck what's wrong with those people so what we were doing? <sighs> Let us see. Just for comedy. <laughs> Just for the purpose of comedy. Nothing more, nothing less. Hey, Nader Ahmed, how are you? Hello. Well, hello, CP. How have you been doing? After all these years, we finally meet. This is very good. I get a chance to meet you. How have you been doing? Thank you. I'm very fine. So what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Yes, yeah, so, you know, uh, we've been having these wonderful debates on the Bible, Quran, and modern science. Mostly Quran and modern science. But and what, Quran, I have a few Quran challenges. And Quran and science? Absolutely. We've been having these discussions and debates. And I have said Christian has been running away from this debate series because he knows that the Quran is in complete harmony with modern science. Okay. And there's... <laughs> Okay, 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 give us one, give us one, give us one. Let, let us let the waste time, me and you. So for some reason, your voice is cutting. Well, let us, give, give me one, give you me one miracle. Answer. Give me one yep. miracle. Okay, listen, you have to, why were you running away from me, from this debate? My People said, no, 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 see who is cutting. Don't excuses, we are here, let us see who is running. Give me a miracle, let us laugh. Uh, well, here's what I would like to do, uh, Christian. Friends, I would like for us to have a public debate on this topic. Uh, in which... Abdul, do you want to debate me or talk to me right uh, now? Until we have that happen, give me the miracle. Everybody will laugh okay. at you. You are you are playing like a kid. You call me, you claim, you claim, you can debate me. Here we go. We can do it right now. Why next year? Why next century? Do it right now. Otherwise, you are just a kid wasting my time. So I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you, please. Don't let us speak like a dog. Are you going to debate me right now, okay, or you will never do it? Well, well. First of all, I will give you want me to give you a scientific miracle right now. I can okay. do that, mm -hmm. but I think you should first answer why you are running away from me. Well, answer that to the people you because the one is running. I'm saying to you, let's do it right now. You said no. It's you who's running. Do okay. it. Go ahead. What I 
<laughs> let's do let's do ten right now. Action no I can hear you. Will be one. It's a crossfire. Be it. Everybody will hear us. It's a conversation. Go ahead. Okay. Here's the problem. If we don't have set rules with time limits, right. things like that, then we're it's, just going to be. It's a free. It's a, it's a free. If it's a free boxing match, show me. Aren't you the one who speak? You speak. You know. You play karate and you are good at boxing. Do your boxing. Free boxing match. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, Christian Prince. Okay. The Don't problem here is thing. what I stop. Stop making excuses. The rules go oh. for both of us. It's a free, free, free. Say whatever you want. Do whatever. Fifteen minute debating about to debate, and you talk about patient. This guy, you go around. Christian Prince ran away from me. Christian Prince ran away from me. He ran away from me. All of them to the same. All of them, they are chicken. And now, okay, we uh, here we go. I, I called you. And you are with me live. And did not ask you a question. Tell me whatever you want. Go ahead. Uh, no, we have to set rules. What rules? The second Muslim, he asked for rules. He is asking for a way to escape. You see, this is why I don't do those things like stupid things they do in other channels, like five made for me, five made for him. There's no need for this garbage because he can say whatever he wants, he get away with it. Crossfire debate is a real debate. And don't tell me what the topic. You see, those people who ask for a topic, they are asking like a topic in advance, two months in advance. They go search in Google, they print a thousand reference in front of them, and they start reading from a paper, regardless if they are Christian or, or, or Muslims. So, what is the debate? So now this Dudu, he is with us. Okay, are you going to debate or not? And then later you will see a Christian saying, let him talk. Come on, Christian Prince, you are not letting him, let me talk. Whatever you want, go ahead. <laughs> but I have a very good excuse. My excuse no, from running from you is this. You are a coward. Okay, you, let me you are wasting our time. Are you ah. going to debate me or not? Okay, what well, what I cannot do, Christian Prince, is I win a shouting match. That... Now or not? Howard on the run. Okay, so we're going to talk about one scientific miracle, and then you're going to agree to debate me later on. Okay, so I, I let's do. I'm, I, I'm, I am agreeing to debate you anytime. Here we go. I'm here with you. Go ahead. Uh, CP, we need a format. We need equal time, and, and we need to ship. Don't call me again. You are just a kid. You don't dare even. See why you hang up on people? Do you see why I hang up on those Muslims? They say to you why you hang up on him. There's no point of talking to them. First, there is no honesty. Never waste your time with somebody repeating a lie. That's it. Okay, you said you lie, bye-bye, go. There's no point. And I have the reference in front of me on the screen to get you busted. I give you an opportunity to talk to me to prove me wrong. You waste your opportunity about saying things does not make any sense. I would hang up on you. So are you going to debate me or not? This guy, 24 hours, seven days a week, he go from place to place. You want to debate every Christian, and all the Christians are running away from him. Everybody run away from him. I mean, come on. And to talk to me, we need a format. What format? Be a man. You, co you, you are the one who said you want to debate me. You, you keep saying I'm running from you. You are just a kid. You are not even equal to my shoe. You don't even know how to say your prophet name correctly. If I call you right now and I ask you to say your prophet name correctly, do you do? How, do you know how to say it? You don't. And you are the one who agree your prophet have sex with the goat. What more I want from you? So either you want to do it now. Don't waste my time. I will call you one more time. Either we do debate. Now, don't put rules, no rule for you, no rule. Notice, he will not say a lie. I did not say the prophet have sex with the goat. <laughs> he agreed because that's what he said, you know. <laughs> so he said, he said, so what? <laughs> so what? <laughs> Better than your Bible says, smash the head of the babies. <laughs> All for me, speak as much as you want. Get me busted. Go ahead. Let me call you. <clears throat> so that hurt my feeling. Do you accept or not? Hurt my feeling. 
Yes, let's do it today because I know you'll run away like a coward. So let's just do so, what you want. <laughs> go ahead. Thank you. Let, 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 be, be a man once in your life and talk. Go ahead. Speak as an adult. Go ahead. Okay. What do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Yes, so we're going to do one scientific miracle to okay. prove that the Quran is the truth and you are actually following a demon called Christ. So both the Bible and the Quran actually answers a question on the issue of alcohol. Now, what's very interesting here, there was a study done, I don't have my hmm. desktop, which is shared, I'll show you that study, hmm. but in this study, it showed hmm. that, the, that the Quran actually... Muslim, because of the teachings of the Quran, the Muslim women are 50 times less likely to give a, a baby, uh, I'm sorry, to give birth to a baby who has fetal alcohol syndrome. The study said you got to go to the Christians because of the influence of the Bible. So the question tonight, which Christian Prince needs to answer here, hmm. is, okay, so the book of the Quran and the Bible, they give an answer to this question of alcohol. And when we look at the Quranic answer, it is a far superior what answer. Is the, what is the Quran answer? And to know you're not giving me the verse from the Quran, remember. <clears throat> we are talking about chapter five. one. Sorry, chapter what? What did you say? What chapter? Chapter five, five verse nine. What chapter? Chapter five verse nine. Chapter yeah, chapter five, five verse ninety. Chapter five verse, verse 90. ninety. Okay, tell me about it. Go ahead. Now we know what you're talking about. Go ahead. Okay, and then I'll tell you about it, but I'm following you because I'm, I know you you will not run away from me and we'll debate on this topic. So that's the agreement here. Okay, so let me go ahead and get the verse in chapter 5, verse 90. Okay. It says, forbidden food is uh, alcohol, any kind of intoxicant, mm -hmm. gambling. Okay. So from the study here, they pointed out that, this, that Muslim women are 50 times less likely to give birth to a fetal alcohol because of the teachings of the Quran. Now, the question is here, which you need to answer, how is it that the Quran gave a bad where, where, response? Where is speaking about the, the, the alcohol is bad, where it says that? No, it says, for you, forbidden is yeah. alcohol, any kind of intoxicants. But where it says, and, where it says, and because of for, that, where it says it's bad for your health in the verse you quote for me. That is bad for your health. No, it is completely forbidden for Muslims. This is clear. Okay. And from uh, the another, study another, again. Uh, another, another, another. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm asking you a very simple question. You say that this is about health. I'm asking you, why in the verse never say anything about health? It says this is from Shaitan. That's all. Because it's from Shaitan, don't do it, correct? Yes, this is from Shaitan. And so, because as the study concluded, it is the teachings of the Quran. Hmm. which caused Muslim women to abstain from alcohol. And so the question from again is that how did how could Allah of the Quran provide a better response okay. than Jesus of the Bible on the question of alcohol? That's a question you need to answer okay. now. Well, okay. And so no, this no, no, no. Let, let us make it clear. I'm just trying to get a full sentence from you. So are you saying the Quran confirmed that alcohol is bad no matter what? The Quranic position is that it is forbidden. Yes, no, it's no, forbidden. It's forbidden. I, I know it's forbidden. This is not a question. Are you saying that alcohol is bad no matter what? It's bad. It's ugly. Yes or no? No, no matter what, no matter what. But I think these are irrelevant questions you're this asking. You're question. running away this from the topic. study. This is the topic. If you like to count how many times I need to repeat the same question, just start counting. Already I did it maybe five times. The question very simple. Is alcohol bad or good? Is it bad or good? Very simple. The question now is irrelevant. irrelevant. Okay. <laughs> this is the topic. I want to know if alcohol is bad or it is not bad. Is it bad or not? I mean, what's wrong with you? So you are saying to me, Quran is forbidden alcohol. Okay, forbidden because of what? Because it's good or because it's bad? Yeah. What? You don't understand the question I here, so I need you to take no, some time. This is my question. This is my question. This is Guys, you don't understand the question. I mean, the question is difficult. I mean, come on, we have to agree. Like, what is the question? I don't understand the question. Like, what? Like, what is the question? Give me the question, I will answer it right away. What is the question? 
The Quranic position is that it is forbidden. Yes, no, it's I forbidden. I, I know it's forbidden. This is not a question. Are you saying that alcohol is bad no matter what? It's bad. It's ugly. Yes or no? No, no matter no, what. No, no. But I think these are irrelevant questions you're yeah, asking. You're question. running away from the, the study. This is the topic. No. This is the topic. I want to know if alcohol is bad or it is but not bad. Is it bad or not? I mean, what's wrong with you? So you are saying to me, Quran is forbidden no. alcohol. Okay, forbidden because of what? Because it's good or because it's bad? Yeah. What? You don't understand the question. I, so I need you to take no, some time. This is my question. 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 Yeah. He don't understand the question. He don't, he don't understand the question. Like, what the question? And then you will see somebody from those Christians who claim to be Christian. Christian prince let him talk. And you have no patience. And I will not be surprised if somebody says from those Christians too that I'm surprised that this guy, the Muslim guy, he had patience to talk to you not yours the Quran forbid alcohol is it because it is bad or because it's good you're saying okay so you're saying alcohol is forbidden I'm Quran. Not saying, is it because I'm not it's bad or good you? why you are in trouble very simple question how many times I need to repeat listen carefully the Quran forbid alcohol that's wonderful does the Quran forbid the alcohol because it is bad or because it's good So the reasons why the Quran forbade, there's actually a reason in the Quran they said there's some good that outweighs the good. Why you look at the that, answer? And why, so why the you issue here. Why you are making a speech? I mean, the answer is very simple. Allah forbid alcohol because it's bad, or Allah forbid the alcohol because it's good. Which one? Choose one. I've already given you the answer. Now the, no, the no, issue, no, I'm going to read it no, to you. I, and you got no, to I want a clear answer. Is it bad or good? Is alcohol is bad or good? See, CP, I need you to stop interrupting me. I know you're scared. Stop, I know this is the point you are not able to answer. I want and one one word. Is it bad or good? Stop interrupting me. <laughs> hey, you say, Prince, let him talk. Why don't let him talk? Stop interrupting me. Look, what the heck? I'm repeating the same question for the last 15 minutes. Let me talk. Vacation Prince, let him talk, okay? What? Good, you are the one who chose the topic. Everybody is my witness, and now you don't dare to answer. What's wrong with you? Okay, Allah forbid alcohol because it's bad or because it's good. CP. CP, you gotta let me. Don't interrupt me. You have I'm to let me. So, okay, we're gonna have an intelligent you're making a speech. I mean, the answer is very simple. You call me. You say, according to science, proving that women they give birth and they have a, a, a defect in their birth. That's wonderful. That means alcohol is bad. So why you don't say it's bad? Is it bad or not? You know, the, the, the issue with the Quranic position on alcohol <laughs> is that there is some good in it. My friend, I want okay, you to you mention to okay, me, there is, some is it you who mentioned to me in the beginning saying that science proved that most of women who give a defect birth, the reason for defect birth, and you, you mentioned the word the Christian specifically, that the reason for that the highest percentage is right. because of alcohol. So is alcohol is bad or good? Okay, okay, your question, as I understand. <laughs> Do you know why they didn't dare to answer? They made an article, and the article, this they were teaching Muslims how to refute Christian prince. Whatever Christian prince he said to you, this is number one. I wish I can find the article. Uh, this is, They made it many years ago. Don't say yes, don't say no, because whatever he say, you say, he will get you busted. Even if he said the prophet was a wonderful man, don't say yes. And this is an example. This guy, he don't want to say yes or no, because the second he say it, he knew there is something coming. He knew he's talking to Christian Prince. He's not talking to somebody, anyone. He knew that Christian Prince will not ask a question unless there is something, there's a, there's a, there's some kind of explosive device coming. <laughs> it is yes, it's good or bad. I mean, what's wrong with you? 
But the guy is struggling like, what is the, like what? What is the question? Remember, this is his topic. He is the one who called me. He is the one who challenged. He is the one who mentioned it. Oh, I want a clear answer. Is it bad or good? Is alcohol is bad or good? See, CP, I need you to stop interrupting me. I know you're scared. Stop, I know this is the point you are not able to answer. I want and one word. word. Is it bad or good? You are the one who chose the topic. Everybody is my witness. And now you don't dare to answer. What's wrong with you? Okay, Allah forbid alcohol because it's bad or because it's good. CP. CP, you gotta let me. Don't interrupt me. You have I'm to let me answer. Okay, we're answer gonna have an intelligent speech. making a speech. I mean, the answer is very simple. You call me. You say, it's according to science, proving that women they give birth and they have a, a, a defect in their birth. That's wonderful. That means alcohol is bad. So why you don't say it's bad? Is it bad or not? You know, the, the, the issue with the Quranic position on alcohol <laughs> is that there is some good in it. My friend, I want oh, you to mention to okay, me, there is, some is it you who mentioned to me in the beginning saying that science proved that most of women who give a defect birth, the reason for defect birth, and you, you mentioned the word Christian specifically, that the reason for that the highest percentage is right. because of alcohol. So is alcohol is bad or good? Okay, okay. Your question, as I understand your question, you're you're saying that overall alcohol a like good or bad thing. Is that your question? Like, I mean, this is even your topic, and you don't even dare to answer. You call me saying that because of drinking I, alcohol, women do give birth to children who have defect in their birth. Okay, that's your claim, and you claim this is from science. That's wonderful. Now I'm asking you, based on what you told me, is that mean? And based on the Quran forbidding the alcohol, does that mean according to Allah, alcohol is bad or good? Oh, I think I understand your question. Your your question is, okay, did Allah forbid alcohol for a specific reason of preventing fetal alcohol babies? Is what? that your question? No, no, what's wrong with you? You are in trouble. You are like a cartoon, Mickey Mouse. You are, you are in the corner. You know what to say. I'm asking you, is it bad or good? Very simple. Don't, I, tell me, don't tell me any reason. I want to know. Is alcohol, according to the Quran, bad or good? Ah, bad, bad. Okay. Did answer your question. It's bad. It took us 10 hours to get it, the word bad. And look how stupid this argument. Because if this is the case, Allah forbid it because women, they will give such a thing, then the men, then men, they should drink it because men, they don't get, uh, <laughs> they don't carry babies. <laughs> but the verse of the Quran, Allah speaking to men. <laughs> so, the idiot, you know what you can do, an idiot. So, this is how much patience you need to talk to Muslims. And then they will see somebody sitting in his chair, drinking his coffee or his eye, you know, iced tea or whatever, relaxing, say, Christian friends, you have to be more patient, brother. Brother, you hang up on this guy. Brother, we might just bring him to Christ, brother. You know, they are sitting there, relax, you know, and I'm losing my voice repeating my question, screaming. And then the Christian say, Christian Prince, brother, you need more patient. You are very tough on the Muslim. But what? Actually, the most who make me upset is not Muslim comment. It's Christian comments. It's really weird. I mean, they screw you how to talk to Muslims. And they themselves, they never did talk to one. I mean, I spent my life making Muslim leave Islam, and then you will see a guy who never spoke to a Muslim. They never made a Muslim leave the cult of Islam. He is schooling you how to talk to Muslim. Okay, now we reach the point. This is the, the part. Uh, this is part two of the movie. <laughs> now he got that question, man. So this is the question, huh? Uh, okay. <laughs> Oh, I think I understand your question. Your your question is, okay, did Allah forbid alcohol for a specific reason of preventing fetal alcohol babies? Is what's, that your question? No, no, what's wrong with you? You are in trouble. You are like a cartoon, Mickey Mouse. You are, you are in the corner. You know what to say. I'm asking you, is it bad or good? Very simple. Don't, I, tell me, don't tell me any reason. I want to know. Is alcohol, according to the Quran, bad or good? 
bad, bad. Okay, to answer your question, it's bad. But there's a little bit of good in it. Okay, finally you said it is bad. So how come the Quran says it is good? Here we go. This is the chapter 16, verse number 67. You made me lose my voice. Repeating the same question. The Quran says that the alcohol is amazing drink. It's the best. It's a miracle of Allah. Read for me the verses. <clears throat> He's searching Google now. The moment of the truth. Is it bad or good? Are you finding the verse? I'm sorry, I'm not even looking at your screen. Well, did you want me to respond? No, no, I don't want to respond. You can call a friend. I mean, what's wrong with you? The Quran says, do you want me to respond? See, they, are, they say things just take, taking time to think what they were saying, you know? They say things doesn't make sense. Uh, do you want me to respond to this? There's something in the screen, Christian Prince, you know? Should, you know, the, how the weather there, you know? So he's just trying to buy time, so he think what he will come with, like, you know? So do you think, like, did, did, did you fix the faucet in your kitchen? It's, uh, it's we're leaking, you know? He will come with anything just to avoid Come on to the answer. He's, he's buying time to think. You said to me, it's bad a second ago. You said to me a second ago, the Quran says that the alcohol is bad. Now the Quran saying that alcohol is a great drink. It's even a miracle from Allah. It is a benefit for mankind. And you can change any translation you want. What translation you want to put for you on the screen? Okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm not even looking at your screen. So can I, let me answer that if, you, if I may. Uh, okay, one thing I will require of you, Christian, do not interrupt me in my rebuttal. Because if we're going to have an intelligent debate, we should not be interrupting. Because simply you just say that the alcohol is bad. The Quran is saying the alcohol is amazing. I mean, can we even make a rebuttal? Okay. okay, so. <laughs> okay, so let me now respond to you without interruption. Because if you interrupt me, this is an act of cowardice, and this is exactly what I'm saying. The debate now is about interruption. See, he's buying time. This is what they do. They're just buying time. They don't know what to do. Don't interrupt me, okay? No, do you want to hear my rebuttal? Don't interrupt me and we start talking, blah, 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 saying nothing. What are you thinking about? What I would do with this verse now? can't handle me in this debate, so he's got to interrupt me. So let me now go sure. ahead and... We cannot handle you, for sure. Okay. Have, you know, no. For sure, you are like a little big cat. I mean, I'll answer how the Quran, the same book, saying alcohol is a sign from Allah. It's a great benefit for mankind. And this is amazing product to, to, to use. It's a benefit. You make good deeds from it. You make good money from it. You make good health from it. It is in the top of that. It's a sign from Allah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you're going to need to speak, or are you going to run away? I'm waiting, I'm waiting for your interruption, majesty. Uh, in I'm waiting for your majesty. Uh, Stop uh, complaining about interruption. You can do interrupt, interrupt me too. You said it's a free form. And I, I, you I have, your yeah. duty, remember your duty here, supposedly you are going to show me your knowledge. And your knowledge is a joke. You are just a kid. You choose a topic. You okay. mentioned the topic, and now you do not know what to say because your God said alcohol is amazing. How you answer that? Okay, I want everyone to understand when you interrupt somebody, this is an act of cowardice. He's running away because I'm about to put this, uh, put the slam uh, dunk on to him. So let me go ahead and answer the question. Mm -hmm. The issue with the Quran actually made it clear: in alcohol, there is some good. However, the bad. Is a good. So this is a, uh, this is what the Quran and the Quran and the kind of movie that just get lost, <laughs> get lost, stupid idiot. There's a, a, it's a waste of time to talk to you. It says in the front of you, it's a good. You made good from it. You made good nourishment of it. Indeed, you made good nourishment of it. See so why I hang up, and then I call him back. By the way, I feel sorry for them. And at the same time, I said to myself, like, you know, in this circus, I mean, when you dump out the, 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 this idiot, the joker of the circus, you know, in the middle, I mean, people will laugh at what? So let us invite him again. But you lose your patience. The Quran says there is some good in it. You just say it, it's bad. And again, I call him again.
Indeed, if you have sense, indeed you are a donkey. You are a certified donkey. Obviously, you do not know your book. It's a waste of time for someone like me. I can put my toes in a chat room and you cannot answer my toes. Who are you? So when you say, I'm going to debate the Christian prince, I want to debate the Christian prince, you're a potato. Let me, yeah, the Quran says there's some benefit. What some benefit? It says, I asked you, is it bad or good? And I repeated the question a hundred times so you can think about it carefully. And then finally I made you say it. It's bad. It's bad. Chapter 16, verse number 67, Allah praise alcohol, claiming that he is the one who made it for us. It's for our benefit. So don't go around. You see, I, I, I just now, I give you like a bite. You know, that like, you know, you want to bite my shoe? I give you my shoe. But as you see, even my shoe, you cannot even bite it because your mouth is so small. Potato. And if you want to talk about health and birth defect, I never saw birth defect as much in Islamic countries because you marry from your cousin. And the proof of birth defect is you. Look at you. I mean, you got to hate this Christian prince, don't you? <laughs> I mean, I don't know where he got his, his words from. This guy, Christian prince, is really something unbelievable. And the proof of birth defect is you. <laughs> <laughs> they marry their cousins. Half of the society is suffering from disability because they marry their cousin, which is their sister. And they are coming to me, finding a false logic, trying to make it like the Quran forbid alcohol because of women giving birth. This is really what the Quran says. Desperate cult, they have a desperate measure to come with desperate proof. If your God, he care for what you claim for birth defect, then he should forbid you from marrying your own cousin. Actually, the Quran allow you to marry your own daughter. A Muslim Abdul, he says, oh, this is a lie. The Quran says it's forbidden for you, your daughter, your mother, this is true. But if she is a daughter from a marriage, if she is a daughter out of marriage, you can have sex with her, and we can show the reference. That is Islam. Then we call him back. Should I play it all of you guys? I mean, should I, should I play it all? What do you think? Do you want to continue the movie, or will we, we, we finish? What do you think? Should we finish the movie, or continue? <coughs> What do you think? Give me an answer. I need I need to make some tea. Honestly, my my throat is dry, you know, because you see, not only I do life on air. After I finish, there is somebody who I leave Islam. There is somebody, his sister, you know, she he's a Muslim, he's, he's ex-Muslim. His sister wanna, she don't, you know, she's trying to convert her to Christianity, like what happened to him. You know, so I like I spend a lot of time talking off, 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 uh, off, offline, and then you come here and you know argue with people, and then even Christians they, okay. So I will play it. I will not make a comment. I will go to the kitchen, make some tea. Excuse me, okay. Don't forgive me if you don't hear me say anything. Just listen to it. If you are not the proof of birth defect, who is the proof? Idiot. Shall I call him back again or give him one more chance? <laughs> he will make a rebel. <laughs> uh, what? Why are you away? I'm laughing. What happened? I'm, 
we are not. We, we, have, we have to take. A, we have to. We have to take commercial break because you are a birth defect yourself. So now, are you going okay. to answer or not? Don't 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 make an excuse. Are you going to answer how Allah He says that alcohol is a great product and he, it is a sign from Allah? And then you take it. You said to me from the beginning that it is from Satan. Is it the other verse? It says from Satan. The verse you oh, gave, Christian the verse you gave, yes, chapter, yes. chapter five, isn't it that verse? It says that alcohol is from shaitan. Okay, well, I want to be clear. You you hung up on me. You interrupted me, I, and this I, is a clear I, I, sign I, I, of power. Everybody is laughing. Now, you, so listen, this is recorded. Everybody <laughs> laugh at you. So the verse in chapter chapter five, verse number ninety, it says that alcohol is from shaitan. Correct. It is a handwork of shaitan. Correct. Really? It is a handiwork of the devil which is found in your book, right? Nope. Okay, so now how the other verse is saying that it is the work of Allah? It is what? The work of Allah. What? It is the sign from Allah. It's a work of Allah. So chapter 16, verse number 67, it says, It is healthy, it is good, it's a fruit, it's amazing, it's beautiful, it's a good, it's nourishment, and it is a sign yeah. from Allah if you have any sense so how it is a sign from oh. Allah and then the other okay. chapter you gave me it says it is the work or the handwork of shaitan which one we should take absolutely and so this as you can see Christian hmm. Prince is running away from the real question tonight on how is it the Quran could give a better response like what he's showing okay but I can show internal contradiction don't, don't, show internal don't, contradiction. don't change topic don't change topic it's, 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 you see you know you say I hang up on you don't, don't make me hang up on you because you're a kid you're just a kid literally I'm asking you the, answer, the question is very clear the question is very clear everybody is laughing at you you are a stupid like your prophet who said that the penis of the man will be endless and I'm I assure you are dreaming about that because you have a problem now listen is it is it from God this alcohol or it's from shaitan okay so as you can see he's interrupting me he's hanging up on me and this is a sign of this from Christian okay, okay, give me, because I'm done with you you're done. You, you, you lost I have nothing to say I'm just giving you extra time just for you see listen, listen. Nader Ahmed you are here for one purpose entertainment you are just a joke you are not a debater, you know nothing. What? So I'm asking you, the verse in chapter 16, verse, chapter 16, verse number 67, don't make me, make me repeat myself one million times. It says that alcohol is made by Allah. It's a sign from Allah. It's a miracle of Allah. It's a great, it's amazing. And the other verse, the one you gave me, chapter 5, verse number 90, it says it's the handwork of shaitan. So which one of them is accurate? Okay, so the, one of the, the cowardice of Christian Prince, anybody can win a debate by interrupting their opponent, hanging up on them and, and shoving the question. You can interrupt me. You can interrupt me as much as you want. Still, you can't answer. What is the answer? What is the answer? People don't, don't care for you. You can cry as much as you want. People are listening. Which one is made by? Made by Allah or made by the devil? Is it bad or good? I'm waiting for the answer. I told you this guy is scared to debate me. The Quran sure, makes it very sure. clear. Yeah. For sure, for sure, we are scared of you, my friend. So for sure. I mean, there's no, there's no two people that when I when I debate about it, you know, my friend, everybody's scared of you. You are you are a crazy person, brother. So now, is Shaitan okay. is the one who made alcohol or Allah? Chapter 16, verse oh, number nine, 67 says it's made by Allah. Chapter 5, no, verse number 90, it says made by Shaitan, and it's bad. So which one of them is accurate? Okay, so the Quran does not state in Surah 16, verse 67, that the, that the uh, alcohol was made by Allah. You have lied. Now, do not interrupt me again. Uh, what I, now, I did answer this question, as you can see. I think he's running away. Read the verse for us. Read the verse for us. Read the verse for Allah. Read the verse. Read the verse. You said it doesn't say that. Read the verse. Read the verse. I want every. I want it to be clear to everybody. He's running away. He cannot debate read, me. Read the Anybody verse, can read read the verse. Let us see who's running away. I mean, we are having a debate. Oh, I'm asking you. Give me the answer. I'll read the verse. Why? Why? Okay, you are saying something is not there. It's in front of us. Does it say that it's a goodly provision? Okay, let me read for you. This is the Muslim translation. Okay, and a goodly provision. Do you see the word goodly provision? Yes. Okay. That does not say. Okay. Perfect. It's Anybody can win it. Doesn't say what? Doesn't say what? Doesn't say what? 
Prayer, Christian Prince is a coward. Is it clear he cannot have a fair debate with equal time? He's refusing to do so. What is it clear to all? I'll give you more time than me. I'm, I, I, I will stay mute if you're answering. I'm asking you. Does it say there? About it's, you said to me, I asked you, is it a bad? You said, yes, it is bad. Women, they get babies and they have defect. Bad for sure is bad. Okay, the Quran here says, and it's a goodly provision. Verily, there is in indeed a sign to four people who have wisdom. So according to the chapter 16, verse number 67, the one who have wisdom is the one who drink alcohol. Okay. So uh, can I talk or is this just your time to... Stop, I mean, crying. Well, how you... Stop crying. I'm trying yeah. to explain to you the question so you might answer. You are just trying to, to buy time. You do not know what to say. Go ahead. Yeah, you did lie to people in which you said that you said alcohol is from Allah. We have you on tape. After changing your statement, oh, it's just a goodly provision. It means that there's some good in it. So now you just kind of uh, change your original statement. So yeah, you did get busted lying Can tonight. I talk now? Can, I talk? Can I talk? Okay, you just say it. You just say it. Okay, hold on, guys. I, I said this is from Allah. It says that in front of you, you donkey. It says it's a sign. It's a sign. It's a miracle. Or ayat and ayat. You know what I mean? It's a miracle of Allah. Do you see the word sign? Are you a certified donkey like your prophet or you are not? You are. So it says here in the front of you, it's a sign for those who have a wisdom. The signs come from who? From God. Do you must believe that signs come from shaitan? Uh, are you going to let me talk without interrupting me? So stop so, me, so why are you all saying we got me busted and this is not from Allah? If the verse in the front of you is saying, the verse in the front of you is saying, this is a sign from Allah, so beer is from Allah, it's a sign. Black label, brother, and sister, we have Zebra, we have the brother, another um, with us. And by the way, the Muslim, they used to drink and they pray, and even the Quran made the verse about it, praising it, and and then because the Arab they start laughing at Muhammad, he said to them, Oh Muslims, Allah told me, don't pray when you are drunk. Chapter 4, verse number 43. Oh, who you believe, don't go to the prayer when you are intoxicated because you are drunk. So Zakir Naik, Nadir Ahmad, all the potatoes in the world, they used to go to the mosque with the Prophet and they fill a pot around him. And the Arab they start making in front of Muhammad and his followers, what kind of followers they are, why Allah did not say from the beginning, and in the top of that, Allah, he praised alcohol and he claimed that alcohol is a sign from him, why he did that because the Arab, they love to drink you're my well, there's no point of giving me the mic if you're going to interrupt me every 10 seconds. I mean, this is an act of cowardice on your I'm, part. I'm you're just answering you. I'm just answering you. You made, you made a statement. You made a statement. You said you got me busted. You said you got me busted. The verse doesn't say it's from Allah, so I have to answer. It says it's a, yeah. it's a sign from Allah. So do you agree it's a sign from Allah or not? Um, there's, I've never won a shouting match no, no, in my no, life. No, no, a different... no, listen, listen, I, I want to answer. You see, shouting match, this is not shouting match, this is spanking match. You are being spanked. I, I want you to tell me, Coward. does it say, does it say in the verse, a sign from Allah or not? It's pointless. You're just going to interrupt. What's the stop, point of now talking about this? Excuse, it's 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 Here we go. Uh, it, took me, it took me five minutes repeating my question to, to make you say that alcohol is bad. Repeating my question one million times. And now you are going to do it again. So is it going? Is it saying there that alcohol is a sign from Allah or I'm lying? Okay, so let it be clear. I'm going to answer your question. Even though you're jerking me around, Abdul, you're interrupting me. Are you going to answer sign of, of, Is it a sign from Allah? Heart. Is it a sign from Allah or not? You see, I am not anyone you can play with. You are talking to Christian Prince. I hold you from your tail. Okay. I put you in the corner. And it doesn't matter how big the rat is in front of me. Still, you have no cheese. I'm going to repeat my question. Is it a sign from Allah as the verse saying or I'm lying? No, it does not say it's a sign from Allah. It said it verse. is a sign. Then read the verse. Uh, okay. Then read the verse. Read the verse. It says the word sign there. The sign is There's a difference. <laughs> Can I respond? <laughs> Why are you so afraid to debate me, Christian Prince? Please keep in mind when you interrupt people and you want. That's not a debate. <laughs> and that's okay, really good. That's true. Abdul, 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 in front of everybody. In the front of everybody. Which interpretation you like to put in the screen? 
Christian prince. How do you turn stop into a plane? It's not everybody laugh at you. You want a Jalalain, you want a Tobari, you want a Nikati. What do you want? Oh, I put them for you and okay. you will get you busted. You're a potato. So I'm asking you for the last time. I'm losing my patience. You're just a kid. Is it a sign from Christian. Allah or a sign from Shaitan? Here it says it's a sign for those who have wisdom. For who? Yes. For the one who have wisdom. Yes. So the Quran saying it clearly <laughs> that those who have wisdom, they believe in the sign which is dream drunk <laughs> can I respond I mean can I talk I don't know you could just interrupt me a four yeah, seconds yeah. I feel like I don't have yeah, no, no, time. No, no, you are the best joker ever <laughs> I love you man I love you I love you you know God he created a lot of funny things I love I love you for the sake of God because you are the best joker are you going to answer or not you see how many times I need to repeat my answer when the Quran is saying it's a sign it's a sign by who who is the one who's giving the sign can I talk? <laughs> Are you only talk, Christian Prince? <laughs> no, 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 I'm repeating the question, you donkey. Is it a sign from Allah? This the word sign is coming from who? Who is the one who did yes. the sign? Who is the one who did the that text? sign? Go ahead. Okay. Okay, so you're the now please don't interrupt me. The text of the Quran <laughs> it is a sign as that a text did not say it's a sign from Allah so the text who? did not say this okay it's from, oh, wait, it's, from wait, it's from who what guys it's not from Allah <laughs> the text did not say it's a sign from Allah <laughs> the text doesn't say it's a sign from Allah where it says that like where where like what it says it's indeed there in it is indeed signed for people who have wisdom the text doesn't say this is sign from Allah. Okay, the sign comes from where in Islam? <laughs> and they say to you, let him talk. You see, this is why when you we, this is not a debate. We don't debate with those Abdul. Those Abdul, they don't debate. They are professional stupid liars. I mean, there's professional smart liars. Those are stupid liars. And you have to hold don't don't let him get away see he will try to say anything just to get away from what you just said this is why i don't like the christians when they debate muslims in their channel not a single one of them he hold the muslim stay there did you say that they don't do that they let it go it is extremely important to hold them accountable for what they just said. Don't let it go. Otherwise, let go the whole the argument. There's no need to talk anyway. So this is why this is five minutes for me, five minutes for him. It's a joke. And this is why those who they call them polite debate. Those are not debate. The proof they are polite. And to explain to you what polite mean. If you are not offending the other person, that's mean you are not sharing the truth yet with him. At least the truth you believe in it. So when a Muslim he said to me, Jesus is not God, he's offending me. He's sharing his own side of the story. So now we have a we have a debate. If you say to me, we believe in the same God and Jesus, blah, blah, blah. This is not what they believe. They don't believe in Jesus as God. This is why like a person like, what is his name? <clears throat> uh, Wahidi, Wahidi something, the Shia guy. This guy is like a snake, you know. This guy, he have no religion. With the Christian, he starts saying things doesn't make sense. The Islam, you know, he, he make himself like he's opposing the bad Muslims, but he will not confess that this is his religion, you know. So, you need to learn how to deal with those people. Until now, I saw zero Christian, sadly. He hold them there. Did you say that? Doesn't matter how many times you repeat the word. Did you say that? Repeat it again. He will try to escape. Repeat it again. Hold it. Don't let it go. The second you let go, he escape it. 
you lost an opportunity. Just to give an example, <clears throat> when Mimi Hijab, the coward, who don't dare to debate me, he said to David Wood, not a single Jew, not a single Jew believe in the Trinity. Not a single Jew. That's what he said. David Wood, if he was knowledgeable about Islam, he should not let it go. Right away, he should say to him, did you just say not a single Jew? Hijab, he can not refuse to say, yes, I said. Then he said to him, so how, what say you about chapter 930, where it says that the Christian believe Christ is son of God or son of Allah, and the Jews, they believe that Uzair is the son of Allah. He was talking about monotheism, remember? So, <clears throat> when you debate first, you have to be a person who have a very fast thinking. Secondly, you have to be knowledgeable. Number three, you have to be listening carefully to the idiot in front of you, what he is saying. Because you can make, you can turn the table easy on him, for he is certified idiot. He just said his prophet is a liar. He just said that his Quran is made by, by an idiot. Because not a single Jew believe in some God. Not a single Jew believe in Trinity. Not a single Jew, he says, God, he sent the Son. Not a single Jew. Well, they cannot deny it, it's in the Quran. I mean, what, they will say the Quran is weak? This is why not everyone is qualified to debate the Abdul. Because when you debate the Abdul, you are not debating. You are playing. It's a game. It's hide and seek. Debate can happen only between two decent people who share the truth about their belief. Muslim don't share the truth about their belief. Oh, okay, no, no, finally we got an answer. It's, it doesn't say it's from Allah, it's from who? Okay, Christian Prince, you are scared to debate me. It's very clear. Coward, don't, and think about, and don't, don't run, don't run, coward. I'm asking you, you say it doesn't say it's a sign from Allah. So are you saying that your God, he gave a sign from Shaitan? And he called it wisdom? The text said, okay, listen, I'm a, no, I don't want you to interrupt me again, Christian, because it's an act of cowardice. You're scared to debate me. The issue you are not tonight. Answering. You are not with, answering. You are not answering. So is it a sign from Allah or a sign from Shaitan? The text doesn't say, but now I'm done with you. I'm now you. I want you. No, 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 you're not done. You are not, well, we just started your donkey. Where are you going? What do you mean you're done with me? Okay. Listen, is it a sign from Allah or a sign from Shaitan? Prove it to me. <laughs> Whatever you say, you have to prove it to me. What interpretation you like us to show to everybody in, the, in, in the listening? Because either you are lying, and this is a sign from Allah, or I am lying, and it's not a sign from Allah. So when we say it's a sign, is it a sign from Allah? You said it doesn't say that, and you said it doesn't, it's, which means it's not. So, can you get me busted, Your Majesty, Nader Ahmed, the scholar who have no, you don't have high school? Can you get me busted and show me the interpretation for the verse? Where it says this is not uh, a sign well, from Allah. Where it says this Christian, is not a sign from Allah. Christian friends, mm -hmm. I have to go. I cannot believe mm -hmm. you jerking me around. You have to go where mommy is coming. What, you want to change your diet? Where you want to go? Where you want to go? What happened? No, you are in the corner. You are a potato and you are a coward. You say this. You, you just admitted that Allah is shaitan because the Quran saying this is a sign for those who have wisdom and you deny that those who follow the wisdom, they are following the sign of God. You just deny that this is a sign from God by saying it doesn't say that. So you are a liar and you are a potato. This is the topic you choose. And you don't want to answer because it's very embarrassing. Let us see how many Muslims will, will laugh at you about, about and you are the one who says, who will debate you? Who, who are you? Who are you? You don't know nothing. Here we go. I repeat again. Don't tell me I have to go. Mommy, mommy, she will be upset. She will watch this video and she will be upset from you. Be a man. Be the hero. So, is it a sign, from, is it a sign from Allah or it is not? I have to go. I want you to come into a public debate with me on the top. 
This is the kid, Nadra Ahmed, who go around and says he want to debate a Christian prince. <laughs> This is, doesn't say this is a sign from Allah. So a sign from who? I mean, do you even see how silly? Did, did those people, they listen to themselves? So the Quran, brother, he saved women from having birth defect. Are you sure? The Quran was copying Paul about being drunk, about gambling. And they say to you that we don't believe in Paul. Paul was a bad person. But if you go to the verse, you will see he is copying the word of Paul. At the same time, as long alcohol is made by Satan, so how Allah is going to buy alcohol from Satan and put it in the heaven? Is it from Satan or it's from God? Lord have mercy. So anyway, I think we have uh, enough for today. Don't forget to watch the previous video, which we made a few hours ago. Maybe I will give you tomorrow. Vacation should not come. I try sometime to resist coming here, uh, but sometimes I get lucky and get really busy, so I don't come, you know. But uh, I will try not to come if I'm home and uh, let you watch the two videos. You have two videos for each one of them is what? This one is 1 hour 36 second, and it's full of comedy. What do you want more? No? <clears throat> so before we finish, if you are a Christian, never compromise. If you are a Christian who want to follow science, and somebody is a Christian, he told you that the Bible is in total agreement with science, this Christian is not being, uh, let us say, uh, see through with you because the Bible don't agree with the women she can have a child without a man according to science you know so the agreement here doesn't work Jesus have mother but she have no husband is that what science says so do science agree with the Bible and the Bible agree with the science here no science speak about how God created the universe and According to the Bible, God created the heaven and the earth, which means heaven first, and then the earth, and then the sun after. Is that what the scientists they say to you? They say that the sun created after the earth? No. So, the second you start compromising, it's a clear sign that you don't have faith. You are just faking I believe you know you are trying to convince yourself in something it's not really what you believe in so either you follow what is called science you know we don't want to do what Muslims do we don't want to claim there is a scientific miracle and blah 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 all this madness God is above all their science so either you are a believer in what the Bible says or you don't believe when a Christian says that scientists, they say the age of the universe is 15 billion years. Well, if you believe in that, then you don't believe in this. If you try to do the same as the Muslim they do, when the sun set in murky water and the Muslim they start lying saying, oh, it appeared to him it like that. The second you do that, you are the same as the Muslims. You are trying to defend your faith by lies. So that can affect only unfaithful Christians. Uh, I told you in 2010 something, I forgot which year. I lost my voice, you know. I like woke up, I could not talk, I could not even say hello. I hate to go to doctors, I hate hospitals, I hate it to death, you know? Like even if sometimes, I don't get sick usually, but even if sometimes it gets really bad, I don't go to doctors. But because I need to talk, that's what I do, you know? Like my, my mission would stop. People are waiting for me. So I decided to go to the hospital. 
X-ray, blood test, they measure my weight, cough, cough, <laughs> open your nose, okay, take samples, open your mouth, take samples, put it in the, under the microscope, come tomorrow, go to the library, la, la, laboratory, pay here, pay bills, I paid a lot of money. And then they said to me, you are so healthy, we do not know what's happening. Doctors, genius, famous hospital. So, you know, I don't know what, what happened really. But then, what happened, you know, like I was out of coffee and I want to need to go and buy coffee, something like that. So I did not drink coffee for a day. And my voice is coming back. So I said, let me extend it for two days. My voice is getting better. I did not drink coffee for three days. My voice is totally back. It was just a stupid coffee. So all those scientists and computers and laboratory and examination and x-ray and blah, 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 a lot of money. They literally stripped me from my, from my income to find later by myself that it was just a coffee. I drink really a lot of coffee to the point even my lips used to go dark. This is how much coffee I used to drink. It was just a coffee. And not a single stupid doctor say to me, did you drink something because maybe some allergy or something? What you drink today in the morning? Nobody asked me those questions. Did you eat something? Did you drink something? No, a single doctor he asked. Where is their science? The science appear only when you pay the bill. They have big villas based in our illness. Doctors these days, sadly, they are not doctors. They take a test, they send it to the, the, the real doctor for you is the computer. The, the DNA machine, the blood machine, those are the doctors. The rest, those are not doctors. Those are like a, you know, like a, somebody he learned by experience. If this happened, that happened. If this if, is that, you know, the software, if this is that. And they strip you with the payment. Those doctors, they live like kings, big villas. Where the money coming from? From your pocket, from your health. Even sometimes they prescribe for you medicine which have nothing to do with your illness, just to make you pay for it. Or even to do a surgery which you do not need, just to pay for it. For sure, not all doctors are the same. There is some good ones there. But they depend on your luck. Uh, so, and now, like today, you know, we have little tiny virus. What is the doctors? They are trying things. This is not science. This is this is the science of the trying. There is no science. When NASA, they say to you, uh, let us say, we found a star in somewhere. Okay. And then NASA, she, they post a picture. How much we can trust this picture, really, by the way? It might be Photoshop, it might be true, it might be false. But if you remember a few days ago, I told you, you can search the story about the microwave. For many years in this country, in USA, which is full of scientists, they were talking about communication with aliens, communication with aliens. The first time I heard this story, I could not believe it, I, was, I died laughing. Communication with aliens, the aliens sending us messages, the alien, etc. The, the CIA, they announced that we are receiving, they confirm it. The Pentagon, they confirm it. The, the, they ask the president and they ask the, you know, etc. The whole the, the old TV station, you say, talking about the alien communicating with us. And then lately they found out it was a microwave. It was what? When the guy in the morning he go and the, and the, and the, and the communication they come in the same exact time every day, so those scientists get so excited, man. They are organized. It's not like just a a, a message we cannot understand. It come every day, like at let us say nine o'clock. 
the guy he go to the office in the second building he go to the microwave he heat some whatever food or a coffee or water whatever and and then they receive with their satellite the signal the beer it was a microwave are you a flat earth how i can be a flat earth the bible says the earth is like a spear so how i can be flat earth i believe in the bible whatever the bible says i follow it if you are a believer in a flat earth that means you are not a christian but look what this abdul he just said to us how are you israfil israfil is the name of an angel who allah he put the quran between his two eyebrows and the distance between his two eyebrows is 500 years not much you know i mean he, the guy have big eyes so he said christian prince think about this for once if god came as a man wouldn't that make him limited he would be limited to single shape occupying only a small amount of space that is your god finally mr israel he said something useful I can't believe it. I'm going to go with you, Israel. I don't believe in this, but I will go with you. So guys, did we understand now from Mr. Israel with the long beard that if a God have a shape, he will be limited? Is that what he's saying? Isn't this what he's saying? He's saying that, right? Don't you think like when God, he come as a man, wouldn't that make him limited? He would be limited to a single shape, occupying only a small amount of space. This is your words, not mine. So how you can explain this, Abdul? Are you with me, Mr. Israel? Now he will disappear. This guy, he hit and run. He will, he will ignore what I'm saying. He will ignore what he, you know, what he said. He will play dead, you know, like a fox. You know, we used to go and hunt for foxes. And once I witnessed with my own eyes how the fox, he played dead, literally. So let me show you uh, what your prophet said about this. Remember, the one who have one shape cannot be God. And the one who have a shape is limited. Read carefully. Your God, your God, then the Almighty, let us zoom in. Then the Almighty, who is talking Muhammad, will come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw first time. Are you there, Abdul? No, no, I drink coffee, but I don't drink coffee as before. You know, before I used to drink, I mean, and my coffee is a Greek coffee. It's not like the coffee, American coffee, which is water. My coffee is very heavy duty, you know? Like now, I don't drink much coffee, so I drink like, let us say, uh, four big cups of coffee. Four. But the heavy, 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 heavy. You know, that uh, the American, co American coffee for me is, is water. It doesn't even make sense to call it coffee. It's just dark water. It's dark mud like where the sun set. So read with me, Abdul. Then the Almighty come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw first time. Hey, Muslim, you saw Muhammad first time? So you saw Allah first time with a shape? What is the shape? Goat? Ectobos? Which is that? Then he will, he will come to them in different shape. Okay, so now Allah, he changed his shape. And he will say, I am your Lord. They will say to him, get lost, you are not our Lord. Are you there, Ismail, Israfil? Huh? Are you there, Mr. Limited? Here now you will see the hypocrisy. A second ago, the God who have a shape is limited. A second after, the God who have a shape, it's okay. <laughs> I 
Are you there, Israel? What happened? This is what you do. This guy, he go, he put his tail in the chat, and he run. And the funny, he get his profit busted. And this is the link. Here we go. Let me show you the reference. And this is Sahih Bukhari. They cannot say this is, you know, that story like it's weak and false and blah, blah, blah. Where does it say Allah is limited on one shape? It says he have a shape. When he is in a shape, is that one shape or 20 shape? Look, guys, look. Supposedly now he didn't he did think about it. Look at this answer. Look how deep. Hey, Christian Brands. Brands. Christian Brands. Where it says, <laughs> it's you who said. It's you who said when a, when a, when a God, he have a shape. It's one shape. He is limited. Allah now he have one shape. Does it say in the front of you, Allah he come to them in a shape? Is that one shape or twenty? Are you there, Abdul? Isn't it cute to be Abdul? I think it's a cute. First, the second you are Abdul, you are super intelligence, and your answers not only they they they, they humiliate Allah and Muhammad, they get him busted. You are the one who said if you have one shape, he is limited. Allah now he have one shape, he is coming to them in a shape. He's coming to them in a shape, but he is twenty shape already. He is coming to them in a shape. He have one shape now. He changed his shape because he's very flexible. Allah is like, you know, he's like jellyfish. <laughs> Gelati. <laughs> hey, Israel, I have an offer for you. I'm willing to open my Skype and you call me. And if you call me, I will make you admin in my chat for 24 hours while I am closing. What say you for the offer? So you will be able to call me, you will all be able to refute me, and you will be able to show your pe the people how nice your beard. I mean, man, you spend too much money in it. And Zakir Naik, he will, he will call you himself, he will say like, how in the world you get this beard? I'm trying my best to grow a beard. It's not working. So what do you think, uh, Israel? Why you don't call me? And, uh, you know, argue, prove me wrong. It is you who mentioned that. A shape does not mean one single shape. A shape, guys, does not mean one single shape. So what does it? Okay, if it's not. <laughs> I mean, this is hilarious. Guys, listen, listen, listen. I mean, this is. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, Mr. Israel. Be honest with me. Aren't you paid by the Jews to come here? I mean, aren't you a Jewish Asian trying to make fun of Muhammad or what? Because the Muslim, they claim anyone is making Muhammad look stupid, he's a Jew. Hadith looks stupid, they say the Jews say the Hadith. A verse says a st stupid thing, they say the Jewish give it false explanation. Christian Prince, a shape does not mean one single shape. Like my friend Abdul, there's shape and shapes. Is it shape, a shape or many shape? It says a shape. And then Allah, he changed his shape. <laughs> look at this answer man I mean come on all of you now look how he got you busted look how fast a shape it doesn't mean a single shape and now how a question Prince is going to answer this should I go and make uh, tea again I mean I just made tea but with such a guy you need like 10 pound of tea to drink you need to like to wake up so you can see this intelligence you can enjoy I'm sure now like a single Muslim woman, she see Mr. Israel giving those answers, she will be like, she, she will have a crush on you, man. Like how smart he is. I want to have this guy as a husband. That's it. I mean, where do you get this intelligence? Is that like, a, is that in the family? Is, is it running in the family or like it's an accident? I mean, like maybe you were driving your car, somebody hit you, you wake up, you find yourself genius or something. So now the word shape does not mean it's one shape? <laughs> oh boy. And one shape or none shape, who care? It is you who say it limited to a shape. So if he is in a shape, he is inside a space. As long as he is inside a space, he is limited. That's what you said. 
Betito. The God who is inside the shape, he is limited, occupying only small amount of a space. Doesn't matter really how big the space is. Space is a space. Who wants some tea? Anyone? You pay only for shipping and handling. You need those those scammers. You know they say to you for free. For free, call us right now. You pay only for shipping and handling. Ah, only for shipping and handling. And how much the shipping? They send you something that doesn't cost 10 cents, and then they make you pay shipping $14. <laughs> and the fool, he said to himself, man, I get it for free. For what? For free. Oh boy. Really for free? This would remind me of a Muslim. He's a nice guy, by the way. I'm not making fun of him, but he is a. He is a sometimes he's an idiot. So he called me. He says they are they are giving food, free food in the supermarket. Is it free? It's just free. It's no way, man. What are you talking about? There's nothing free. Is it free? I'm telling you, it's canned meat. So I did not. I said, okay. Well, I don't know. I'm not going to go there for this reason. So he was asking to come and take take some. You know, he found it in the shelf. It says free. I said okay but if you come tomorrow maybe you will not find it it's okay it's okay a week after i went to his house and uh, he he remembered he said let me show you the uh, the, the 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 canned food <laughs> and you know like his english is funny my english is funnier but i did look at the at the can it says not for the conception of a human being <laughs> And honest to God, his real name is Abdul. I'm not making fun. His real name is Abdul. So I said to him, Abdul, for this for the sake of your Allah, <laughs> can't you read? It says this is for animals, this is for cats, for dogs. And he was saying it's so tasty, it's so good, man. I put I eat some olive with it, and I put olive oil with it, and man, the flavor is so good. I said that this is not only for dogs, this is pork meat. But anyway, for free, what you can say, you know. <laughs> and he was asking me to come and get some, but before they, you know, he said, strange, nobody is taking it. You know, those stores, they give uh, food for free for cats and dogs. You know, and uh, th this guy, he saw for free. Like, what the heck? Perfect. He ate the first one. It tastes so good. And then I said to him, uh, I don't know. I noticed your nose is moving weird since you ate this food. <laughs> He's a nice guy, by the way. Yeah, I have nothing to do with Islam. This guy is peaceful, nice, very, very nice person. Yeah. Yeah, it was halal. Are you there, Israel? So why Allah is inside the shape? Any Muslim can answer? How Allah became limited inside the shape. Who is the one who created the shape? Because as you see, shape number one, shape number two. Did Allah created the shape and he go inside the shape? Or he borrowed it? And when Allah, he transformed himself to be in a second shape. What happened to the first shape? He burned it? Any Abdul? So here you see the stupidity of this cult. They claim that God is higher than entering inside his creation. But in reality, they believe that Allah is inside his creation. Which means they lie about their faith. They say how God can be a man. But God of Islam is a physical being anyway. Actually, Muhammad in different hadith, he make it clear that Allah is a man. Uh, I'm answering you. I will, go, I will go to the first comment you said. I will go back. Because your comment, you see, because now you are in trouble, you are saying to me, you did not answer me, I did answer you, but let me just go. Jesus inside the shape of a human being. Did he become limited? Okay, isn't it Jesus in the Quran, he made the blind see? 
Isn't it Jesus in the Quran, he made the dead come from the grave? Isn't it Jesus in the Quran, he made the one who cannot, who have a leper, he heal him? Isn't it Jesus, he feed a thousand of people from the sky? So where is the limitation of Jesus? I'm just showing you a miracle from your book. So if Jesus is not God because he inside a, a body of a man, a shape, then he should do what the man do. Do we agree, people? As long as Jesus is limited, as he said, but we don't see the limitation of Jesus when it's come to do things which are amazing. If you want to say to me that Allah, he gave him that power, prove it. This is a claim. I can claim now that I am the one who gave him power. So the limitation of God, I agree with you. If God cannot do what God can do, then he is not God. That is not the case of Jesus. That is the case of Allah. Because the Muslims, they heard Muhammad saying the story that Allah, he asked the children of Adam to send a sacrifice and Allah will send a fire from the sky, the same as what happened with Abraham. The same as what happened with Abraham. Let us find you the reference. So when the Jews and they said to him, well, okay, let's do this. God said to us, and Muhammad agree, that to approve somebody, he will give a sacrifice and I will send a fire from the sky to consume that sacrifice. The same as what happened to Abraham and Isaac's story according to the Quran. The same as what happened to the children of Adam, Cain and Abel according to the Quran. They gave a sacrifice and the Quran here is using uh, a very well known word in India, Qurban. How Allah He approves somebody? How Allah He show His approval? You give a sacrifice, and then if Allah He send a fire from the sky consuming the sacrifice, that's mean He approve you. This is a chapter 5, verse number 27. Then we see that the Jews, they say to Muhammad, that God told us, according to the Quran, Allah told us, we are not going to believe in a messenger unless he showed us a sacrifice consumed by fire from heaven. Do you see it? They challenge him for that. If you are a true prophet, do what the same what happened to Abraham. The same what happened to Cain and Abel. You know, this is what the Quran confirmed. What Muhammad said to them. He said, okay, okay, hold on. There's messenger before me. They did those signs for you. You don't believe in them. But this is not true. Did the Jews believe in Abraham? They do. Did they believe, they believe that God, he sent the fire? They do. Do the Christian believe in the same? They do. So it was the limitation of the false God, Allah Aka Muhammad, answering, he cannot do it. So who is the one is limited? My God or your God? Are you there? The Quran even says how Allah can have a son without having a girlfriend. Allah himself a questioning Allah that the true Allah cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. Well, the Christian God, he did not need a girlfriend to have a son.
your God confirming in chapter 6 101 that it's impossible for him to have a son unless he have a girlfriend that is the limitation of a man I don't have a son because I don't have a woman I need a woman regardless of if she is a wife or a girlfriend very simple is that the case on the in Jesus no so Jesus he is not limited even his birth is a miracle even his birth is out of limit so my friend the Muslim Abdul I advise you to repent and to accept Jesus as we speak as you see your God is a false God we have the Messiah and the funny they say to you that Allah he gave Jesus those miracles okay do Allah knew that giving Jesus such a power that will make him out of the limit of being just a messenger as an example even the Quran said that Jesus is created from the mother bird remember this Abdul he says that Jesus must be limited but how he is limited if he became a creator he created from the mud the bird can Allah create from the mud the bird prove it if he can then he should do he never did any miracle to Muhammad the Muslim they have tons of stories about Muhammad doing miracle but those are in books nobody trusts the Quran confirm that Muhammad he have zero miracle does the Quran say so absolutely chapter 17 verse number 59 and we refrain from sending signs to who to Muhammad only because the men of former generation treated them as false that is a false excuse here we go 2000 years after Jesus 1400 years after Muhammad we believe in the miracle of Jesus we believe in the miracle of Moses we believe in the miracle happened to, to Abraham don't we so it was a false excuse and this is your God announcing that he cannot give Muhammad any miracle because they will not believe it but anyone can say the same I can claim now to be a messenger of God you say to me okay do what messengers do I say oh my God will not give you miracle because you will not believe me but you see this is stupid is it the Muslim they believe in all the miracles mentioned in the Quran they do so you see here the hypocrisy is stupidity if nobody will believe in the miracles because this is you know this is already proven well the Muslim themselves should not really believe too <laughs> so Abdul I say to you repent stop worshiping the black stone kisser Muhammad stop following a person who go after babies to sleep with them stop worshiping a person who been it proven to be cheater and the proofs is even the Quran we have God who is a miraculous God your God is nothing okay well you see guys the G Jesus miracle is a is a prophet miracle is, is it is it is it a prophet miracle to be creator who is the creator you will say Allah, right? So how did Jesus create? Is that what prophet they do? They create from the mother bird? If there is somebody in Islam beside Jesus, he can do that? He fashion a mud, he make it a bird, and then he breathe into it? Guys, making mud bird is not the same as a create life from nothing well this is how your god created the birds and adam you idiot what life from nothing this is how your god created adam he made mud he brought dust he mixed it with water then he fashioned it then he breathed into it <laughs> isn't this how your god he made adam supposedly <laughs> Uh, anyway, 
as always we say stupidity is amazing is that your God he created him from mud and then he breathed into the mud and before he breathed he shaved it but you just said this is have nothing to do with the creation stupidity is amazing Jesus do or did according to your book exactly as your God did but in the story of Jesus we have tons of proofs about the power of Jesus but where is the proof of your God anyway I think we have enough for today and I hope you guys you have some uh, learn some good knowledge today uh, I know where the story of the birds is coming from but you see when you debate with Abduls you debate them in their book but we know where it's coming from for sure you know this is additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud I mean even the Christian they refuse those stories you see ask yourself why the Christian they will refuse such a story to be in the Bible I mean that will make us more even stronger believers right this is telling you that the Christians they refuse any corruption because all those stories which is about how amazing Jesus is there is no reason for someone to believe in the true God to refuse them unless he is a true believer do you understand what I'm saying if there's a story saying Jesus he can do this why in the world the Christian will not put it there when they are worshiping Jesus as God that will help them actually to make more people believe in Jesus but they refuse because they will not accept lies Islam without lies dies Christianity is not based on lies so the Christians our church fathers they refuse those stories because they examine them to be false otherwise we will take them there's no way we will drop down such an amazing miracles about the power of Jesus right anyone here he come and he say something against Protestant Catholic Orthodox admins block him right away we don't accept this garbage here Christianity is not Catholic is not Protestant is not Orthodox it is whoever believe in Jesus don't go there coward the devil try to divide us Jesus said whoever believe in me and I will live there's no Catholic there's no Protestant there's no Catholic there's no Orthodox there is only one universal church and that is not a priest not not a monk is not a bishop it is whoever believe in Jesus the Messiah as his Lord as his Savior he died for him in the cross he believed in the Father the Son the Holy Spirit he believed that the Messiah is coming back he believed that Jesus the Messiah the Lord he died in the cross he was a crucified he was resurrected and he's coming back and he will be the judge for all mankind if you believe in that you are a Christian the rest we don't care for it the Quran in chapter 5 verse number 14 says Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians and what is the purpose to divide us so the devil can conquer and this is additional proof that shaitan and Allah is one if we ask any Muslim who is the one who spread hatred they will say shaitan thank you for the correct answer that is Allah do you see it so anyone he tried to divide the Christians he is serving the devil even if you think he is doing a good work you know I mean there's many people who they speak against this church and that church you know hey, come on don't be the same as the Pharisees this is what the Pharisees were doing to Jesus oh look 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 your disciples they are doing something in Sabbath he said to them Sabbath is made for the man not the man made for Sabbath so Christ did not leave those people without witnesses and without proof it's not you who decide who is Christian who is not 
Don't be the same as the hypocrite Pharisees who swallowed the camel and didn't see the little tiny thing. Oh, sorry. They see the tiny thing in your eye if you are not one of them. All of us, all of us as a Christians, we are sinners. All of us, we need to repent. All of us, we do wrong. All of us, doesn't matter, you are Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox, doesn't matter. Don't be a hypocrite and don't be stupid. Don't claim that you are the one who owned the key of heaven, the same as Al-Khomeini. Don't be Abdul, don't be idiot. And by the way, even in this field, Christianity is where to go. Look what Muhammad, he said. The Muslim, they say to you, this is an answer for a question a Muslim can, can come to you with. Uh, he might say to you, okay, I'm going to convert to Christianity, so what uh, sect I should follow? Okay, that's a good question. You follow Jesus, the Bible. The Bible says anyone come with a book other than this scriptures is from the devil. That's it. That is the sect of Jesus. There's only one. But look what your prophet he said. And this is a very sahih hadith, as you see here. This is all is sahih. He said the children of Israel split into 71 sect. My nation, actually here, look at this, you know, the, the, the hadith from one to one is different. And the funny, it says Sahih. Here it says, my nation will split into 72. <laughs> so based in Muhammad's statement now, the Jews are more consistent and they are less to be vulnerable to go to hell. Muslims are more divided. And by the way, I want the Muslim to count for us the 73 sect. Here the story is different because Muhammad he cannot repeat the same lie twice correctly. So he said that the Jews became 72 sect, the Christians same 72 sect, my nation 73. So how the Muslim they claim that the Christians are the one who is misguided and the Muslims are the one who they are guided yet you are divided more than us <laughs> do you see why i say the stupidity is amazing remember they have the book of god they have the book of guidance their quran is not corrupt we have and then we find that their nation is 73 sect Speak polite or get lost. Why your Catholic brothers say that you have to follow the Bible and tradition and they are Christian? Nothing wrong with that. Who said that other churches don't follow tradition? We, we do. You are just as stupid, you're like your prophet. Even your prophet, he confirmed that. All the churches, they follow the tradition. As an example, tradition of Jesus teaching us when he hold the bread and he said, do this to remember me. This is my body broken for you and this is my blood sacrificed for you. Do this for me. All the churches do the same. Well, we have a long tradition. It is you Muslims who don't follow tradition. Here we go, the Shia, they beat themselves for killing the grandsons of Muhammad. Do you follow the tradition? Muhammad, he cleaned his ass with the three rocks. Do you follow the tradition? Muhammad, he forbid you from listening to music. Do you follow the tradition? You cannot even have a phone. You cannot listen to the radio. You cannot watch TV. Do you follow the tradition? According to Fox News, number one 
countries search for sex with animals is Pornistan, Pakistan. This is the only tradition you follow. This is the only one which you Muslims are consistent about it when it's come to Muhammad. You follow the step of your prophet. This is the only tradition you follow. Did your daughter marry at the age of six, Israel? Are you following the tradition of the Prophet and his teaching? Did you? Did you ask your cousin to marry his daughter? She is six years old. That will make you a follower of the tradition of the Prophet. Why did Jews did not become a Christian if they believe in the same God? Well, this is a, not a correct question, my friend, Mr. Maud. I don't know if you are a Muslim or not. Because all the disciples of Jesus who believe in Jesus, they were Jews. So who said to you that Jews did not believe in Jesus? Is that correct, Christians? Who said that to you? This is a very false information. Actually, what is left now of the Jews proving that the majority of them, they became a Christians. I mean, after 2,000 years, thousand of years actually, there's only like, what, 25 million Jews? I know you will may say to me, Hitler, he killed 6 million, but still, this is a small number. What happened? Because the majority, they became a Christians. The minority, they still none or not Christians. So you have the opposite understanding. The majority of the Jews already they are Christians. No problem. Your prophet actually he said, if only 10 Jews believe in me, the Jews will believe. So Muhammad he failed to make 10 Jews believe in him. Let me find the reference. If 10 Jews, just 10 Jews, not 10,000, not 10 million, if only 10 Jews, how big the failure of this man, you call him Muhammad? And look here between two brackets, they say among their chief. That's a lie. There is nowhere in the Hadith says among their chief. The Arabic is so clear. If 10 of the Jews believe in me, the Jews will believe. If they are not even 10, how many, how many hundreds and thousands of people I made them leave Islam? Muhammad, he could not make 10 Jews believe in him. How bad he was then. Did Jesus fail to make 10 Jews believe in him? No. All his disciples are Jews. And for sure, thousands of people, they believe. That's why we celebrate the Jewish tradition. The Palm Day. Which is not really, a, you know, a very, like in some translation, not accurate. Does any Muslim have anything? But anyway, it's a good try, good try. But as you see, Muhammad, he have a big failure. He could not make 10 Jews believe in him. I make 10 Muslims leave Islam every, uh, I mean, I don't know, maybe every day, at least. I mean, my videos are watched by, by millions and millions. I, I believe not a single Muslim in Indonesia did not hear about Christian Prince. How many Muslim Indonesia is? How many Muslims are reading my books now in Indonesia? 
Then we have a prophet. He claimed that he received a, 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 a he, he have God with him. He have angels with him. And then he could not make 10 Jews believe in him. Joe Biden can do better. With Joe Biden in the, in the, in the stage. And he will say to you, you know the thing? The thing created the, the, the thing, you know? Yeah, you know the thing? And as long as the thing created the, you know, were created by the thing. And here you see how deep Joe Biden, the same as Muhammad, and we asked Joe Biden a question, he said, yeah, you know the thing. This is in case he did not sleep before he say, you know the thing. Anyway. I want to say thank you guys for being here. You know the thing. And I hope today we have a good time. And as you see, our our program is a school of education. If you learn something good today, can you do me a favor and post in the comment section after we finish the video? What is this thing you learned today new? Do you think our program is the same as the rest? Now, my program is long, and I wish I can make it shorter. But as you see, I'm a person who don't like let things go. Somebody say something, I answer it. And that will make it a really a very good school. Because a teacher who don't he ignore the questions, he ignored them for one of two reasons. Either he don't want to answer because it's out of the topic, or maybe he's an ignorant. And he do not know the answer. That goes to Muhammad, does not go to me. Somebody says the Jewish Talmud called Mary, whatever. Well, the Jewish Talmud is not a holy book even for them. Secondly, uh, if the Jewish Talmud says something bad about Mary, the Muslim they say the same. The Muslim they say that when Mary she gave a child or gave birth, the Jews they said to her, Oh, your mother, she was not a whore, which means they are accusing her to be a whore. Right? However, Muhammad himself, he said, he will sleep with Mary, which means Muhammad, he's saying that for him, all those women are whore. So if you want to focus in the Talmud, the book of Muhammad is more evil when it's come to Mary and Jesus. Same time, some people they use what the Jews they say to make us hate the Jews, but we should not. Just to show you the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan. Once, you know, a teacher he was talking about Jerusalem, and you know, I got him got them busted as usual. Very simple question: Who is the one who built Jerusalem? He said Solomon, the son of David, and his father. I said okay, so this is the land of the Jews. He said, what? Why you, why you, why you defend the Jews? Isn't, isn't it them who killed Jesus? I said, I thought the Quran says they did not. So do you see the hypocrite? Because they want you to hate the Jews. Suddenly, they believe in the death of Jesus by the hand of the Jews. Just to, for the sake of making you a hater. But in their book it says they did not kill him. Do you see? Don't be fooled by the foolish who try to fool you. Let me remind you of something Jesus said in the cross. Anyone remember what Jesus says in the cross to the Jews? And not only to the Jews, to the one who crucified him. Who remember? Forgive them, Father. They didn't know what they are doing. So they wanted you to hate the Jews. They dream Muhammad, he is the most ugly person, a person of hatred. He blamed the Jews for everything. 
and there's some of us sadly claim to be Christians and we blame the Jews the same as Muhammad the one who do that he is no Christian there's bad there's good remember the disciples are Jews so if not a disciple of Jesus who they are Jews you yourself you will not learn about Christ if you hate the Jews then you should hate Paul you should hate Mary <laughs> that's not what the Bible teach so Jesus said forgive them father for they know not what they do here Jesus shown us and he is the best example to follow do you have a better example Somebody might quote for you, says the synagogue of the devil, but this is exists everywhere. The synagogue of the devil can be a church run by a child molester. The same as Muhammad. There's evil everywhere. But Jesus, he showed his love to the Jewish people. He forgave them in the cross. So time will not come and a Christian like you and me Say, hey, let us wage war in the Jews, they killed Jesus. We cannot. Jesus, he was preparing us for the future. He don't want us to be criminals. He don't want us to seek revenge. He's God, he do not need your protection. He's victorious even in his death actually the death of Jesus the crucifixion of Jesus work even better to make a better believers of the Christians because when Jesus came to them again now they say different level of this person who he just said to them that I am the son of God I am the Messiah he claimed that if you destroy this temple I can build it in three days they could not understand that until he was crucified until he came back then they remember what he said before you can destroy this temple and I will build it in three days it took them many years they thought he's talking about the rocks three days so my friend we don't want to hate the Jews we don't want to hate the Muslims we don't want to hate the Hindus we don't want to hate the Buddhas those who follow the hate God are no Christian. Those who follow Jesus, they spread his love and his mercy. But don't be fooled. The love of Jesus is about being truthful, not being hypocrite. When a Muslim he worship idol, you say to him, you are a pagan, you are worshiping idol. I ask you to repent. Loving Jesus does not mean that you say to the Jews what the Jews like to hear. Loving Jesus is to say to the Jews what Jesus said to them. Are we listening? Loving people is about being truthful with them. Not about being taqiyya person, hypocrite. This is why you notice, like, did you see that guy I just today in the video, in the beginning I answered him, and I even called him an idiot? If I tell you that this guy, he donated for me in Patreon, what you will think? He donated from long time. A different person, not me, he will say to himself, man, the first thing this guy would do, he will go and delete his donation. This is the first thing he would do. And I don't blame him, it's okay. But shall I exchange a donation he make with the truth and compromise? No. I love this person to know the truth, but I will not compromise for the reason or any reason. Always I get messages from people who they are here. Christian Prince, I'm not going, I will stop my donation. Please do stop your donation. 
Christian Prince, why you are defending the Catholic? Go ahead, stop your donation. Christian Prince, why you are defending the Protestant? Go ahead, stop your donation. I don't care. I am not for sale, my friend. You cannot buy me. You cannot buy me with your green dollar. It's a shame, actually, that those people, after they say to them what I believe, they try to punish me, supposedly. Or let us say, they try to make a pressure on you to make you say what they like to hear. If I do that, I am the same as many, many false people around. Any of you who disagree with me and you don't want to support what I do, please don't. And don't ever think that if you donate to me, you can make me say something you like. That is the last thing I would do ever, I promise you. Actually, if you look at the emails I received, for sure I will not share any. I am very tough with those who email me, those who donate. I don't change my language. Even sometimes I use the word potato. Even sometimes I block them. Never ever be for sale. The second you sell yourself, you lose God. Be truthful. People that try to punish you always, try to make you do things. Do it if this is what you agree with. But don't do it if it's wrong in your heart. You know it's wrong. Or let us say for the sake of uh, discussing the topic, let us say even they are right, but in your belief it's wrong. Still don't do what they're asking you to do until you are convinced that this is the right thing to do. Otherwise, you are being just a hypocrite who anyone can buy him. So, be, be truthful and don't be a hateful person. When I see a Jew, I don't. I will never hate a Jew. Why I want to hate him? Why I want to hate him? You will say he's a sinner? Well, I am a sinner too. If there's any one of us here is not a sinner? Christianity, Christianity is based in forgiveness. That's number one. Forgive them, Father. They do not know what they are doing. Even when the Lord, he taught us the prayer, they ask him how to pray. He said, forgive to us the same as we forgive to them. So if you want to earn forgiveness of God, forgive. A person who don't forgive, he is still you know, holding to his paganism. And I, I, I'm telling you, forgiveness is not easy. It's not, it's like, it's very, uh, like it's easy word to, word to say, right? But it's very hard. We have to agree, we have to admit. Somebody hurt you badly, somebody do some, Somebody maybe kill your son, maybe kill your family. Maybe, you don't know, I mean, there's tons of evil people around. But if you think about it, when you forgive, you are not doing favor to the one you forgive, because still he will be punished by God. Don't think your forgiveness will take him away from his crime, if he commit a crime. Unless the one who is asking to forgive them or let us say the one who speak about their forgiveness is their God himself or the God himself but when you ask for forgiveness it's mean you are free Jesus he taught us to forgive for our benefit not for the benefit of the criminals who commit a crime against us when you forgive you are free from your hatred you are free from your memory of hatred you erase it, I, I forgive them, that's it, I'm relaxed. But if you don't, you always have, you want a revenge, you are waiting for that day, you are dreaming about that day, when that day will come. Suddenly you will become inside the box of hatred and you live for hatred, you are not alive no more. That is Islam. In Islam, anything happening in the world, it's conspiracy against Islam. People, they make a, a, a toy, they say it says Aisha as a whole. When the toy is saying something in English, I have nothing to do with Aisha. 
Don't be like them. Be smart. And no matter how much they hate Jesus, Jesus is victorious. Look how funny this earth is. Once upon the time, the white man, he went to Africa to bring the African people to Jesus. And not long after, the African man, he come to Europe to remind the white people of Jesus. So if the white man, he did not go with love to the African man, not with the slavery, not with the army to kill them. He took his gospel with him. If he did not do that, then we will not have the rescue of the beautiful heart of the African people coming to Europe, preaching the gospel in the heart of Europe. Where the man, the white man, he forget about it. One of the most powerful speeches I heard Preaching the gospel, it was from a black man, not a white man. This is how Jesus, he bring people together. Black, white, Asian, it doesn't matter. The devil always try to divide us. This is why hatred is from the devil. Racism is from the devil. This is nothing to do with God. This is nothing to do with Jesus. When God, he created Adam and Eve, that means all of us, we are children of one man and one woman. We are family. When the devil come between us, we kill each other. And the devil, he loved to spread hatred as we saw in the Quran, in chapter five, verse number 14. So don't sponsor the devil hatred. Don't. Don't divide the Christians. Don't go around and say, hey, this church is not a Christian. Those are not Christians. The Christians is those who believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. They do, they are Christian. They believe in the resurrection of Jesus, they are Christians. They believe that Jesus is Lord, they are Christians. They believe in the four gospels, they are Christians. They believe that there is no Savior except the Messiah. They are Christians. They believe that he said that I am the Alpha, I am the Omega. They are Christians. Don't be a Pharisee. Don't be a person who claim to be God. Don't place yourself as God. When somebody do wrong, say you are wrong. But don't tell him you are not a Christian, unless he said something against the faith. And the important in the faith is not about an icon in a church. It's not about a picture. You know that this has nothing really to do with God. Because even if they broke the command, they broke the command because they love God. And all of us, we break the command. Have you ever seen one single person on this earth don't break the command of God? So if somebody, because he loved God, he broke the command of God for the sake of love of God, not because he's evil. Then you say to him, you are not a Christian, but you are yourself, you break the command of God, you command of God every day. Then you claim to be the Christian. My friend, no matter who you are, you break the command of God. If not every day, at least maybe once a week. If you are so good, to be true but all of us we bring the command of God with our thoughts sometime with our words sometime with our hand with our tongue with our action and anyone he claimed that he don't he is a liar for all all they are sinners not because there's some they are sinners all So my friend, I hope that today it was a good day to learn and with this uh, some 
beautiful words of the Lord about loving your enemy, about forgiving them, about to be truthful and not to be hypocrite. I hope you will follow the same steps. All of us, we are sinners. All of us, we do wrong. But the good ones of us is the one who try their best to fight their wrong, not to promote it. Fight your wrong when you do wrong. And don't surrender. Thank you. And may the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And take care.